What's up guys, it's time to talk about Mega Galaxy S11 leaks. So 2019 year is almost over, only Google's Pixel 4 left to launch officially. We have seen a lot of great innovations this year especially in display department like waterfall display, 90Hz refresh rate and a surround display and the interesting part is all these displays are manufactured by one and only Samsung and I think this year Samsung has made a lot of profits by supplying these smartphone parts and modules like displays, UFS free storage, camera modules, 48 megapixel, 64 megapixel and even 108 megapixel camera sensors but what's the actual thing they are developing for themselves? Yeah these things they develop for other smartphone manufacturers but what Samsung is going to use in their next upcoming flagship which is going to be a Galaxy S11. So according to a new report came directly from South Korea claims that Galaxy S11 will be a very serious upgrade when it comes to camera and yes we heard this rumor a lot of times before that Galaxy S11's camera will be a very big upgrade but we haven't heard how much exactly Samsung is upgrading the camera. But now according to this new report from Korea says that Galaxy S11 will be the first smartphone of Samsung to have a 5x periscope zoom camera. We were waiting for this 5x optical zoom camera in Samsung phones for quite a lot of time and now it is finally coming in the Galaxy S11. But it is not that much exciting, I mean we have seen the same camera setup in Huawei B30 Pro and Oppo Reno, so it is not that much exciting, yeah it's a great feature but what's more exciting is that Samsung is also upgrading its main camera in the Galaxy. From the Galaxy S7, Samsung has used the same camera sensors in their flagship phones, yet they have made a lot of improvements in the software and in the sensor as well, like variable aperture. But this year, Samsung is taking their camera game to a whole new level by introducing the Samsung's bright 108 megapixel HMX sensor in the Galaxy S11. Yes, you heard that right, 108 megapixel sensor is coming with the Galaxy S11. The same 108 may whistle camera sensor is already inside of the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha concept phone and here are the official sample pictures taken by this 108 may whistle sensor and as you can see the image quality, sharpness, clarity, the details, everything just insane. You can take a picture and zoom in 100, 200 or even 300 times without losing much quality. The 108 megapixel sensor is definitely a huge upgrade over the 12 may whistle that we have on the S10 and Note 10. And also this 108 megapixel sensor is much larger than usual smartphone camera sensor and it could help Galaxy S11 to capture a significant amount of extra light which results in better low light photography. And this is the power of only one camera sensor. Galaxy S11 will also be having an ultra wide angle lens, that periscope zoom lens and also a 3D time of flight camera for real time 3D depth information. So Samsung is all set to upgrade their camera game by a very very huge margin. Also, the same Korean report further claims that Samsung will be bringing a massive improvements into its in-display fingerprint scanner. With the S10 family and Note 10 family, you have to place your finger at a very specific place to unlock your phone. But according to this report, Samsung will be increasing the area, overall area dimension or the area where you're gonna put your finger or in other words, the area of the display that can recognize your finger will be increased a lot. The active area dimension in the S10 and Note 10 is 36 square millimeter but with the Galaxy S11 it could increase to 64 square millimeters. Now what this actually means that the entire bottom half of the Galaxy S11 could be used as a fingerprint scanner. It will make things very easy and convenient as well. You just have to hold your phone and place your finger anywhere at the bottom half and it will unlock the phone. And Samsung has the ultrasonic in display finger solution which is one of the best solutions out there in the market. Hopefully Samsung will make it a little bit more faster to compete with the likes of OnePlus and Huawei. So yeah that's all we have on the Samsung Galaxy S11. Let me know what you think about it. Are you excited for that over 100 megapixel camera sensor and like this video and subscribe to the channel to support this channel and for daily tech videos and yeah see you soon